Hi guys, welcome to another walkthrough guide for Elden Ring. Today we'll be following the steps to complete Fia and Dee's questline and learn how to unlock the twinned armor set and even meet the Prince of Death himself. So let's get started. First stop on the adventure, the Sumwater Village outskirts with an East Limgrave. Now you'll see Dee standing like a statue over a lifeless body. Dee will give you the warmest of welcomes, warning you about the dangers of the nearby village. And I'll suggest to do yourself a favor and definitely stay away. If you decide to venture into the village anyway, you'll find yourself face to face with the Tibia Mariner field boss. And let me tell you, this guy's got some serious attitude. But the reward for defeating him is a crucial item, which is essential if you want to continue D's story. So it's up to you. The choice is yours. Now, once you've defeated the Tibia Mariner and reloaded the area, you'll find that D has moved to the southwest side of the Sumwater Village. Whether you choose to show him the death route here, or at the round table hold, it won't make a difference. You'll still have the same dialogue concerning Garank, the beast clergyman. As you enter the round table hold, head straight for the bedroom next to the smithing master Hugh and introduce yourself to Fia, the deathbed companion. And before you start making any moves, just have a quick chat with her so she knows your presence. But don't get too attached because she's not going to be around for long, or so you think. The quest will be on hold until you've reached the Atlas Plateau and rested at a site of grace. Once that's completed, it's time to go back to you and give her a big hug. Might I ask something of you? She'll reward you with a special key item, the Weathered Dagger. Could you please find the owner of this dagger and return it to them? Are you ready for some real excitement? After you've defeated two Shardbearer bosses, it's time to go back to Fia and she'll give you a map to the Black Knife Print. Now it's not necessary to follow it, but it does appear to open up the next stage of the quest, so if you want, go ahead and see what chaos ensues. Okay, now it's time to head into the main room of the round table hold and meet D, Hunter of the Dead, if you didn't run into him before. Give him the dagger and watch as he says some ambiguous things about it, but in the end, he'll just pass it on to its rightful owner, so don't bother keeping it, it's not really worth it. Reload the area and you'll notice that Fia has vanished into thin air, but don't worry, she's just hiding in the locked room at the end of the hall, and the doors are now open. Go in, and you'll find Fia over somebody's body, but don't worry, it's not a murder mystery, just loot the body for the twinned armor set and have a chat with Fia. Are you ready for the real challenge? You need to make your way to the deep root depths, an underground city beneath the Erd Tree. There are two ways to get there, either by killing the Valiant Gargoyle dual boss fight or by heading down through the subterranean shunning grounds beneath Lindell. FYI, just to give you a heads up, I would honestly go with the first option because it's an absolute pain to go to the underground location in Lindell. Unless you're trying for a different ending, it's not worth your time. But once you've arrived, head to the big arena on the upper northeast side of the city and travel up the giant's roots to the ridge. Good luck, you're gonna need it. Once you've made it to the ridge, you'll find Fia's arena beyond the gap in the cliffs. Step right up, it's time to show these NPC invaders who's the boss, and it's definitely not Tony Danza. Make your way to the opposite side of the arena and get ready to battle five waves of invaders. One by one, you'll take them down, but be careful, because in the last step, they'll hit you from all sides. After you've defeated Fia's champions, a sight of grace called Prince of Death's Throne will appear. On the other side of it, Fia will be sitting in front of the Prince of Death. Choose the option No, I Want to Be Held, and she'll offer you the next stage of the quest, finding the Cursed Mark of Death. You'll need to progress through Ronnie the Witch's questline to find the Cursed Mark of Death. And if you haven't yet, check out my other video on it. It's in the link down below. The Cursed Mark can only be found in the Divine Tower of Liarnia, and Ronnie is the only one with the special key to access the tower via the Carrion Study Hall. So work your way through Ronnie's quest to be able to nab it. It won't be easy, but the risk will be worth the reward. Now that you've got the curse mark, it's time to take it to Fia. She'll still be hanging out at the Prince of Death's throne, Sight of Grace. So bring her the curse mark, and you'll receive the Radiant Aldican's Blessing. Then reload the area and Fia will be asleep. And get ready for a big fight, because after interacting with her, you'll enter the deathbed dream. Ladies and gentlemen, we have arrived at the main event, the boss fight with the Lich Dragon Fortisax. This large undead terror lizard will be waiting for you after you've entered the deathbed dream. Now it's time to clean up the aftermath and collect your spoils of war. And now, what do we have here? It looks like poor Fia didn't make it, but she left us with something special. The Mending Rune of the Death Prince. It's just waiting for you on her lifeless body. This rune, created by Fia herself, will fix the Elden Ring, but with a bit of a sinister twist. It will infuse it with the touch of death. And the best part? This is what you need for the final showdown. 
Remember the depressed guy we saw earlier? Well, come to find out it's Dee's lost and very confused brother. Want to do something nice for him? Give him the twinned armor set you've picked up. Then travel back to the Prince of Death side of Grace. When you walk up to Fia's corpse now, it looks like it's been shish kebobbed and Dee's brother will be holding up a bloody sword. He'll have a bit of an external monologue and then when you reload the area, he'll leave some loot. It'll be the armor that you gave him and a new weapon, the inseparable sword. FYI, just a heads up, beware, if you do this too early, it will jeopardize your progress in the Fia quest line. Do it after you've completed everything and you'll get the sword without any consequences. You finish Fia's quest line, you have the mending rune of death, but what now? Well, just because you have it doesn't mean you have to choose Fia's ending. You can choose really any different ending you wish, but if you're curious about Fia's ending, just use the Mending Rune of Death after defeating the Elden Beast. Alright guys, that's the end of the video. Definitely appreciate everybody watching. And if you're enjoying the Elden Ring content, definitely like, subscribe, and comment with your opinions on the video. It helps out the channel a ton and keeps the content going. And remember, the journey may be dark, but the rewards are worth it. Thanks again everyone, and I'll catch you in the next one.